Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 3 Portable and we've got a boss fight and then we're going to leave the dungeon for just a little bit. So, who do I want to go in with? I think Koro's going to stay. <laughs> Maybe let's try this group. We'll see how it goes. I have no idea what's coming up in this boss fight, so. Could be a great team for it, could be the worst team for it. We'll start out with Auto Makaru or Maraku. You can win, I believe in you. Thanks, Buka. It seems to be guarding this area. Be careful, it's powerful. Okay. Makara Karn is something to think about. Generally pretty expensive. Yeah, man, we've we've fused out a lot of our skills here. Our buffs and debuffs is what I'm trying to say. Okay, looks like they're going to be using fire. Mitsuru's not here, so that's good. We probably don't want you to use your fire, though, do we? Hmm. So you might not be incredibly useful here, Koro. 200 damage isn't the worst I've ever seen, so... Very resistant to Garu. Okay, I wonder if uh, physical is going to be what's going to be useful against these guys. Let's try this. See if this is also really weak. Okay, let's 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 go for some physical options then. So maybe we want to pull in Siegfried. You repel fire too, so we can always put you on, and you have. At least that, which is probably still pretty good. Strength 61 on your strength stat. That's honestly better than even him. His benefit is that he has apt pupil. Which may get us to drop some of these guys, give us some extra turns and stuff, so. Oh yeah, I should have done a Tarunda or... Yeah, I should, I should have reduced their damage, but that's okay. With uh, Aki. Yukari-chan! Yukari-chan is seriously hurt! Hang in there! I think their defense is already down, right? We already did that, so let's just bring their attack down. Nice There's the crits we were looking for. He has a higher crit chance. This is good. Damn, he's already gone? 
<laughs> Hang in there. Yeah, just keep our health topped off, girl. We got this. Junbei would have been good in this fight. SP. What a jerk. Mostly for Makoto. Still alive. The enemy that one wasn't too bad. Too. Not bad at all. We did it. That was a tough one, but I knew you'd pull through. Three guardians left. We're almost there. Keep it up. Alright, Judgment is already halfway there. In theory, that means that we've done half of our climb? In theory. I don't know if that's actually true. I think it does still uh, exponentially take longer, but... We made pretty good progress, and spreading it out is definitely the right call, so I would not want to leave this one to the last day. Alright, we accomplished nothing on our quests, unfortunately, um, although we saw literally all three that could have given us platinum medals, including one that was stolen from us by a random enemy's attack, and a little bit of bad luck. I'm still salty. I am still salty about that one. All right, but anyway, <laughs> we're fine. Let's get out of here. Winter vacation continues. You are tired. You don't seem to be feeling well. All right, there isn't really much that we need to do today. Now, I don't think that our cards are ready. I think it'll be the fifth that it'll be ready. Getting out of the rut my life's stuck in sounds good, but that stuff about deliverance in the end rubs me the wrong way. diamonds for anything else. How have we gotten so many diamonds and not pearls and rubies? See what that cult did? What a mess. 
I heard that cult held a meeting recently. I wonder how much that will affect the city. I'm really worried. The mantra of the cult is, if you believe, you will be saved. Ridiculous, isn't it? We will need to keep our guards up. The public seems to be fooled by these words. Have you seen the headlines? You know the one saying mysterious Colton Town and the end is near? It must be because of Nyx. That mysterious cult put posters up all over town, but they haven't done anything since then. Not that that's a bad thing. It's just a little unnerving. Concentrating on the paint and posters all over town, since all the materials share similar designs, police believe they're the work of one culprit. I saw a news report about that cult. They've become so big so quickly. Weird, huh? If you believe you will be saved... What a joke. Who would buy that? Let's go for a walk. Someone is coming this way. Ah, oh, Makoto-kun, we meet again. Meeting you randomly like this, it's a nice change of pace. You talked for a while. The two of you seem closer now. Winter Vacation Continues Alright, it is a Sunday. And we are at rank 9 with the sun. Let's go and finish another social link. Let's go. All right. Hey, can you spare a few minutes? There's something important I want to tell you. I must warn you though, it's a little depressing. It seems there's something he wants to talk about. Would you like to talk with him for a while? I absolutely would. <laughs> Thank you. Akinari seems happy. Well, I've been waiting. I finished my story and wanted to show it to you. Akinari wears a calm smile. As you know, I was having a lot of trouble with the ending, but I finally figured it out. Since the alligator ate his friend, the bird, he cried and cried for a very long time. In fact, he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears. His tears became a beautiful lake, around which grew beautiful flowers, and a tree with delicious fruit. The other animals in the forest came there often to relax, but none of them knew the alligator had created it, or that he was gone. The end. Yeah man, it's like a modern fable, basically. That's the ending I decided on. Even though the alligator did not find meaning in his life, the residents of the forest did. They just didn't realize it. Because the meaning of my life is not something I should worry about. It's really what others think of my life or what I was able to do for them. So for me or you or anyone, the meaning of our lives is something that we make but don't see. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. I don't know if that made sense, but do you kind of get what, get what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I understand. <laughs> I'm glad. This is the notebook. I wrote my story in it. It's all I have to leave behind. I wanted you to have something, since you shared my last moments. Obtain the worn notebook. Man, what a fucking honor. Akinari stood up. My body feels lighter. Thank you for everything. Coming to see me, talking, even discussing the meaning of life. I... I can be glad that I was born. You can understand Akinari's kindness. Your relationship is stronger now. Max Social Link with the Dying Young Man. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. The innermost power of the Sun Arcana hath been set free. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Ashura, the ultimate form of the Sun Arcana.
the Dying Young Man social link has reached its maximum level. Your power to create personas of the Sun Arcana has reached its maximum. Makoto Yuki has forged a bond that cannot be broken. The Sun social link is at its maximum. You can now create Azura, the Grand Being. So the Sun is the 19th card in the Arcana. It is a card of good fortune, depicted by an infant on a horse under the sun. The universe has come together and agrees with your choices, and will aid you in, uh, going forward. Joy, enlightenment, material happiness, success, and vitality are all readings from the upright card. The reverse of this card may indicate a false impression, lack of clarity, low vitality, and sadness. So, Akinari in his physical form is represented pretty well with the reverse card especially when it talks about low vitality and sadness. But obviously there's a huge tinge of positivity in this one. Um, just the idea that, uh, you know, it, it really it really comes down to like the purpose of your life, you know? He's dying, he wants to leave behind a legacy. So he writes this story. And what I love about this series is that we find out later in the series that his story did become a book. It's it's a story that does make it out there to people and does change people's lives. So his legacy does get to live on, and I, I absolutely love that. So joy, enlightenment, material happiness, success, and vitality are all readings from the upright card. So while it may seem like the upright part of this card is not really a part of this, I think in some way there is um, a, a, a warmth in death and in the legacy that you leave behind. So I think all in all, as sad as this one can be, you can definitely read this one with a very, very positive light. Um, this is easily one of the best social links in any Persona game. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't hit other people as hard as it hits me. Um, I think I've made it very clear that, uh, this one hits me on a very, very personal level just because of, um, death and loss that I've experienced in my own life. Um, so yeah, I love this one. One of my favorites of all time. And I love that it's the Sun Arcana. I absolutely love that it's the Sun Arcana. Like, it'd be so easy for it to be death, right? Obviously, death has a different place in this story, um, but like every every facet of this entire narrative is built around ideas of death and loss and how how we cope with it. And uh, yeah, this one's just one of the best ones. Well, I have to go now. Makoto, maybe someday, I hope that we meet again. Hmm. Emotional. Akinari disappeared into the afternoon sunlight. Isn't that a beautiful image? You gripped his notebook tightly and decided to head, ba head back to the dorm. Oh, try not to cry. Okay. We already did that. Accepted. We got all of our crying out in the eight, okay? Rank eight is where we got all the crying out, okay? We're good. What's up, dude? <laughs> okay. All right. Probably nothing new there. Um, let's see. Koro, can we go on a walk? We can. Koromara picked something up. A Tresto gem. We can sell those. You decided to go back to the dorm with Koro. Hi, it's me. Do you have time to talk? Yeah? Would you like to do something today? What should you do? Accept the offer. Excellent, I shall be waiting outside. Mitsuru seems excited. Colonia Mall, Chagall Cafe. What a pleasant aroma. I only drink tea at home, so I don't know which type of coffee is considered good. But I seem to have taken a liking to this one. Mitsuru seems to be enjoying herself. By the way, do you remember what I said the other day about being hesitant to see you? Mitsuru seems nervous. Well, even though that's what I said, I find myself with you once again. 
to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. What is it that I'm feeling for you? <laughs> ah, don't worry too much about it, girl. Uh, I see. Your thoughtfulness is very reassuring. Thank you. Mitsuru seems happy. Today, you became a lot closer to Mitsuru. You recall that you have something you can give as a present. Yeah, what do I have? Gargolide doll. This is for me? I'm impressed with your choice. I had no idea you knew me so well. I didn't know she would like that. I made a guess. And by guess, I mean, like, literally, it's one of two things that I have. I think the only other thing I have is a Jack Frost doll. Thank you, it's been a long time since I've received a present that has resonated with me like this. She's delighted, okay. You decided to go back to the door. I'm oh, delighted hey. that she's delighted. I don't think that we need um, the affinity points from that, but it was fun to be able to do it since we had the time, so. Have you noticed those weird symbols and posters all over town? They really creep me out. Nyx must be affecting everyone's mind. We should go to Tartarus. A month's gonna totally fly by, you know? What is up in the calendar? Um, let's see. So it's 1-4. Yeah, so... Maybe let's get back to the point where we're no longer on break and back at school? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um, we're gonna get through whatever the next, uh, Empress social link is, and then we'll go back in. We should be fine to do that. Oh my gosh, so many people out here tonight. They say the end will come soon, but I can't imagine it. If it was going to be like a big earthquake or a tsunami, I'd be scared, but... Oh well, if you believe you'll be saved, right? Okay, no one's missing right now. Those were the good old days. I'd come here with my wife and little girl, do some shopping and eat before going home. Never again. I see, the deliverance. Honestly, I don't think it'll happen, but if it does, that would solve a lot of problems. Deliverance is coming soon, did you know that? The absolute will is coming from the sky to save us. You too should join us. Cleanse your impure mind and wait for the time to come. Those posters and paints. I used to be a little into that. But between you and me, I only did it because everyone else was. At the time, I was so pumped I thought I was doing something great. Now I can look back on it and realize how dumb I was. Okay. Just gonna do one quick check that there's no overworld quests that have popped up. Negative. I should check and see what quest numbers are the ones that are missing. saved. I wonder if anyone actually thinks that's true. Kind of reminds me of those advertisements in the back of a magazine. You know, the ones that say, buy this product and you'll be happier. As you know, whatever occurs during the dark hours is acknowledged differently by the public. That includes attacks by shadows. So, if a person is found injured, the attack is usually blamed on a robber. And if someone disappears, it's considered a kidnapping or abduction. These incidents are sporadic and are classified as mysterious cases because everything about them is unexplainable. But now, the number of incidents are increasing so fast that they're drawing the public's attention. Kurumaru-san has very good eyes. We'll need those eyes to see through the lies of that cult. Cases of apathy syndrome are on the rise again. 
There have been a lot of people reported missing as well. This is not good. Society is crumbling before our eyes. Eh, school's starting again. I wonder how everyone's doing. Brainwashed by the cold, it looks like. <laughs> You're joking, right? I mean, you can't be serious. Because if that's how it's going to be, I'm, I'm not going, dude. <laughs> I'm with you, bro. Everyone's so interested in the cult. There are news reports on it every single day. It makes me sick. I hope our school won't be like that. Eh, it might be. I've seen a lot of people in our uniforms walking around talking about it. Ugh, how depressing. I don't even want to think about it. Where have you been? Okay, no walk. Winter vacation will be over soon. Okay, probably not any new dialogue. Just gonna pump up Hellbiker's stats some more, cause why the hell not? Welcome back. Okay, wants us to go to Tartarus. Doesn't want to go out. No new dialogue. Okay, this is our last free day, and then it's back to school. Greetings. Okay, let's go. I guess I'm Cora. Ah, Koromaro-san looks very happy. School will start again tomorrow. I'm actually looking forward to it. Everything seems so different now. If you wouldn't mind, perhaps we could walk home together after classes tomorrow. I'd like to see the town with you, Makoto-san. You spoke with I guess for a while. It seems Koromaro is done playing. Welcome back. Hmm? You're hungry? Well, I will give you a small snack when we return. Just a little one, okay? You go back to the dorm. It's the beginning of the third semester. You overhear a, a conversation? Hey, have you heard of this cult? Hey, don't call it that if you don't know anything about it. The fall is coming. It's already decided. Oh, well, if it's already decided, then it can't be helped. By the way, about the homework for second period. First bell is rung. Happy New Year, everyone. Winter break is over now. No more booze. Okay, you guys are underage. Wow, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, Miss Toriyumi. I've got a beer right next to me right now. Well, let's get right down to business. It's a new year, so we'll start with the basics. It's a simple concept, but students often get it wrong. I'm talking about the apostro 
uh, apostrophe. Okay, Makoto. Of the three phrases I've written on the blackboard, tell me which one is correct. It's wrong. That's absolutely right. It's is a contraction of it is. It's is a possessive word. You could say it's tail or it's temperament, but not it's wrong. There's another pair of words that are commonly confused. There and there have the same pronunciation, but they're not interchangeable, so watch out. Now open your textbooks. You gave the correct answer. Hey, uh, you busy? Junpei started talking to you. Could you come with me for a sec? Okay. Let's go to the rooftop. No one is around except for you and Junpei. Hey, we've really never had a chance to talk, have we? It's almost coming of age day, you know? I used to just think of it as a day off. But now, I wonder if I'm even gonna live long enough to celebrate it. Yeah, you worry too much. We're gonna win this. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It's been pretty weird around here lately. People have been passing out. Senpai said it's because there are too many shadow victims and the memory revision can't keep up. It's all gotta be because of this Nyx. <sighs> oh, and have you heard about that doomsday cult? They've been running around town telling everyone they see that the end of the world is coming. Man, we need to do something. And quick. Yeah, people are just scared. Yeah, I guess they can somehow sense what's gonna happen. But it's not just Nyx, you know. Two members of Strega are still alive. They're probably behind the cult. They haven't done anything yet. But I know they've got to be planning something. And we need to take care of them, too. Wow. Becoming such good friends that I'd trust you with my life. <laughs> I never would have imagined that happening last spring. <laughs> but then again, I never thought it would come to this. Junpei is looking far off into the distance. Hey, uh, by the way... Are you going out with Fuka? No worries. That's cool with me. Fuka's a great girl. Treat her right. <laughs> oh, you know, damn. Okay, Junpei. I don't think it's completely hit me yet. By the way, she's not the only one I'm dating, but... It's just all so hard to believe. But that doesn't mean we should just sit around and wait for it to happen. You're pretty cool, man. That thing was inside you for ten years. And you harnessed its power and made it your own. I know I've run my mouth a lot since the day we met, but I'm totally serious when I tell you. I trust you with my life. I'm... I'm glad to know you. It's embarrassing to say it, but... But that's really how I feel. We'll always be friends, right? I mean, even after this is all over? Of course. <laughs> you exchanged a firm, manly bro handshake with Junpei. Class has ended for today. Alright. Well, I guess said that she wanted to hang out after school, and I actually think that we can do that today. Makoto-san, it's been a long time since I first came to school. My outlook on many things has changed, but I'm not sure these changes are for the best. Makoto-san, do you have any plans after school lets out? If it's all right with you, I would like to walk home with you. Absolutely. Absolutely, I'll walk home with you. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, but there is one place I would like to visit before returning to the dorm. Shall we go? Naganaki Shrine. I come here a lot lately. Before, I couldn't understand the benefits of coming to these places called shrines. But lately, that has changed. This is also where we met Koromaru-san last summer. He waited here until we found him, even though he knew his master had died. Now I can understand his reasons for doing that. What drives people isn't necessarily facts, but feelings. He knew for a fact that his master had died, but his feelings of wanting to be with him made him stay. It's the same for me. I have grasped the fact that I can't protect you, yet here I remain. Subconsciously, I was following my feelings rather than the available data. I was so confused at that time that I didn't notice it, but to tell the truth, it seems that the reasons behind my behavior changing while I am with you, Makoto-san. You sense faint affection from Igis. 
and we just started another social link with 23 days left. Card XX. 20. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Aeon Arcana. It seems this is a new Arcana, the Aeon Social Link. So let's talk about Aeon for a second. Now, in some tarot decks, Aeon is basically uh, the same thing as Judgment. Um, I think that uh, in some tarot decks, um, in my notes it says in older tarot deck car uh, cards, um, the Aeon was a replacement for Judgment. So in other words, like Judgment, I think Aeon became Judgment later down the line. So it's basically the same as Judgment. This card depicts an angel blowing a trumpet while beings emerge from graves. Um, I need—I would need to look back at the way that this game represents those two cards, because uh, I can't remember. I didn't even look at the card to see what it showed. I think I can do that in the menu. We'll look at it in a minute. Resurrection and Awakening are facets of this card. So this is a robot who was awakened to basically sentience. So already it is a rebirth or transition from one part of your life coming to an end and a new one beginning. Transition, renewal, reincarnation, and redemption are all represented within this card. Its reverse shows stagnation, self-doubt, and hasty judgment. So yeah, um, there we go. A little bit of redemption is also in there, um, because uh, she blamed herself for what she did in the past um, that basically put death inside of Makoto, um, but I think we're coming to terms with that. Oh, I have a correction to make. I talked about what drives people, but of course Koromaru-san and myself aren't people. Ha, <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess looks somewhat lonely. Aw, she wants to be a people. You decided to go back to the dorm. Where have you been? This term seems like any other term. I don't care what's going to happen to the world. All I'm gonna do is keep moving forward, so let me know when you want to go to Tartarus. I think we are gonna go tonight. Um, let's see. A little unstable, that's actually what I was hoping for. I kind of want it to be unstable one of the times that we go in. Okay. So we save. Can we see the cards? Yes, we can. Okay, so I kind of just want to see. All right. All right, so judgment definitely is the one that has the an angel blowing a trumpet and then Aeon definitely looks different okay so yeah the description of the card is definitely going to be different than judgment but all right my teacher was talking about the culture in class the other day she wasn't trying to convince us to join it though but I heard that a lot of teachers at the high school are trying to convince their students to join. I used to think that our school would be safe from that cult, but I was wrong. All our classmates are talking about the end of the world now. <sighs> they have no idea what's really going on. I did not expect that cult to become so popular. I thought more people would oppose it. But it's like a fire drawing moths. Everyone at school thinks this is just a normal third term. They have no clue that this may be the last third term ever. Isn't it weird that we're the only ones who know about this? I knew the cult would have some influence over the school, but I never imagined it would be to this extent. Can you think of any effective ways to counter them? Eliminate them. Hope they resist, and... Kill Nyx. Yeah, you're right. All we can do is hope that people are strong enough to resist. As we expected, the cold has made its way to our school. Some people are fully devoted to it. We have to do something about Nyx. Alright. Back into Tartarus we go. Okay, so I guess 
And then anybody else we want, really. A lot of 64s. Okay. All right. Oh, whoops. Oh, Mitsuru is actually 65. Something's different about the enemies around there. I'll scan ahead, it might take some time though. I also think that when it's unstable, you can get more rare floors. There are three enemies. Which be would be good for us. Give me a sec, I'll scan the target. Careful, the enemy's strong against light. Okay, no weaknesses though. Okay. What a way to start, huh? Well, this is going to take a while. As we just let this autopilot bullshit play itself out. They even nullify insta-kills. That's so frustrating. Hang in there! Two enemies left! Alright, who got Amrita? We got somebody who has Amrita, and I think that heals everything. Yeah, we almost didn't live, girl. That was a mess. That was an absolute fucking mess. Alright. We're at that point in the end game where every enemy is gonna just be a fucking pill. Okay, so Garu on that guy. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. 
Okay, I'm glad we got that off. Bit of overkill for uh, the sliver of health he had, but he deserves it. Fall behind, team. There are two of them! Attack! Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Persona! It up. Two enemies left. I won't miss. Fierce attacks have no. Hey, blocks. All weaknesses. physical, but weak to all insta kills. Which I don't really have any insta kills, so. Yeah, everything is a dine skill. I was just gonna see if I had anything that was cheaper. Only one enemy left. Persona! Okay, you guys all suck. Alright, lots of repels are starting to pop up. Things are about to get dangerous, dude. Okay, we to Hama again. Jesus Christ. We need insta-kills back. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. It's weak against fire. Use Augie skills. Do something to calm yourself down. Fuck, dude. I guess has taken heavy damage. It seems Hama skills. 
Let us strike while the iron's hot. Can't miss. Wow, and that's all it did. I won't go down. Oh, yours is Pierce? I did not realize yours was Pierce. Yukari-chan is unconscious! Man, this fucking Only sucks. One enemy left. I'm like getting to that point where I'm just like, man, I just want this game to be done now. <laughs> like, holy shit, 11,000 experience? Wasn't that just a regular fight? What the hell? Okay, absorb fire would not be bad. What would I get rid of for it though? Technically, Ragnarok is a better Augidine, but it costs so much more that I don't think I want to get rid of it. I think we still have a Maracunda, so I'm pretty sure we have one on Abaddon. Cool, thanks for the card. Um, that was a crazy amount of experience. It was a fucking rude fight, though. Oh, everybody came back. Okay, do you have a uh, meteor, media, blah, blah, blah. Meteorahan is what I was trying to say. Does anybody have that right now? I think Mitsuru might have that skill. Garu on the guys in back, and what did we find the on these guys? Weakness is electricity. So Zio and Garu. It's weak. There are four enemies left. The enemy is down! Nice. Now's your chance! Uh. Enemy defeated! Who needs SP anyway? That one just won't die! Two enemies left! I won't go down! It must be eliminated! Facing a bad direction. 
can't approach him like this. He's gonna have to turn a different way. bit further. There we go. Alright, just don't run, bro. Don't run. A Come on, man. Attack. There's only one. Good luck, everyone. Okay. Good job. There's one. I'm going directly to the next floor. So we lock that in. Okay. Maximus Sniper. So the Rocket Punch, Panic High Odds. 309, it's a huge boost in attack. Yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm taking it. <gasps> Another one? What are the odds? I don't know if my team can trigger them too, so I want them behind me. I hate them so much. I hate them so much. I hate them so unbelievably much. There are three of them. Strike I'm not first. mad. You're mad. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. That one just won't. It's weak against ice. There are three enemies left. You must be eliminated. The enemy's weak. Yeah. You just pronounced that Sibley. I've always pronounced it Sibyl. I'm not gonna change the way I pronounce it. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. It's Sibyl. Sibley. Could never. Um. Okay. I wasn't sure if I lost that right at the end there. <laughs> oh man. Um. The enemies here are giving us a lot of experience though, which is good. Get us those levels quick. I can respect that. There are two enemies. Strike while the iron's hot. Cat miss. Thank you, my demon goddess. Electricity. If you get into trouble, run. Two enemies left. Okay, I wasn't expecting these guys to be so fucking tanky. Enemy defeat! 
defeated. Here's our chance for an all-out attack. Let me at him. I can barely sense a powerful presence, but I need more time to determine where exactly it is. Alright. But we are at time, so we're going to have to end this episode. We'll pick up right on that floor in the next one, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, Andy Ford, The Blue Electric Cat, Angel Mejia, Black Mamba90, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.